Welcome to the very first episode, the flagship, the pilot of Fake It Till You Bake It with Mr. Mixer. Let's get started. Now today, we are going to be showing you how to make homemade butter because man, you can't really bake anything or cook anything without some butter. So let's make it. The first thing that you're going to need is 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream. Now, I didn't have any heavy whipping cream and you know, I'm kind of an experimental guy. So I just grabbed a few packs of my wife's breast milk. So we're going to see if we can turn it into butter. So apart from the heavy whipping cream, you are going to need the whisk and you're going to need a splatter guard because it's going to get messy. Now, if you don't have one of these pour shields or splatter guards, you can actually use a paper plate. Now, the one I have for reference isn't quite big enough because it doesn't quite go over the lip. But what you can do is just make a few little cuts here. And then we'll cut out the center of it. Big brain, I know, right? Okay, there we go, like that. And you can actually just set her on down just like so. And like I said, if this was big enough, it would fit a little bit better, um, but you can just put it over the bowl just like so, and it'll keep some of that splashing down for you. Now, a couple more things you might want but are not necessary is a strainer and a bowl, because as you're making this butter, uh, as the butter firms up, it'll actually leave liquid in there, which is butter and milk. So you can use those for biscuits, pancakes, or anything like that. So you do want to strain that out to make sure that you have that left over for all your baking goodness. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to start pouring some of this here titty milk down into the bowl. I hope this works. I think it will. I mean, it's, it, people are just like cows on two legs, right? Don't tell my wife I said that. All right, we have our butter in the bowl. Remember, 16 ounces is what we're looking for here. Uh, let's go ahead and get our whisk put on and get the whole process started here. So we're going to go, we're going to lock it down, and we're going to start it slow. You don't want to just crank these bad boys up. You want to start it slow, get it going. A little increase here. This should take about 10 minutes. So we're just going to let this whisk here for a while. Okay, so we've been mixing this for about 12 minutes now, probably. I don't know that the fat content is high enough in breast milk to actually make butter. That's why this is an experiment. We poured a little olive oil in there just to see if we could, uh, you know, get some of that fat mixed around in there to cause it to uh, lump up a little better. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to let it go just a little bit longer and see what happens. Well, seems the experiment is a bust. Now, I'm not sure if it's because of the fat content, if it was because the breast milk was frozen previously. I don't know if it has to be fresh or what. Like I said, I'm faking it here. But anyways, come take a look in here and kind of see what we got going on. Uh, we got it to froth up, but it never really churned into butter. It just, it just stayed foamy. So we're going to have to make a little trip to the store and get some heavy cream. Now, you can't see the disappointment under these masks here. But uh, the old Dylan's Kroger didn't have heavy whipping cream. They're all sold out. Sad day. Hey, we found some, but we have to give our hard-earned dollars to Wally World, which... All right, we did it. We made it home with the heavy whipping cream. We're going to have to measure this out here. Now, like I said, you want 16 ounces, so two cups. Let's go ahead and get that poured. Look how heavy this stuff is. Woo! There's one. And two. Okay. Now we picked this up at Wally World, unfortunately, because our Dylans didn't have it. But this was about five bucks, and it should produce a uh, total two cups of buttermilk and two cups of butter. So uh, you probably save a little money in the long run making it yourself, and I bet it's way more delicious. All right, let's take two here. Let's let's get this going. Now, this should take only about six or eight minutes or so. So let's let's see what happens. We'll uh, we'll show you once it gets a little thicker here. 
All right, so as you can tell, we're starting to get a whipped cream consistency here. Uh, you can have a lot around the bowl. Make sure to turn it off first, but you can kind of scrape some of this back down to make sure it incorporates back into the butter so you're not leaving anything out. So we'll just pop that down real quick, just like so. Again, make sure that it is off when you're doing this. I have seen people damage their machines by accidentally hitting the attachment while it's running. Okay, let's kick it back up. As you can tell, we're getting pretty close there. It's more of the consistency of a mashed potato at this point, so it's getting close. We probably have about five minutes in on it right now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the splash guard back on because what's happening is as this thickens, it's actually gonna push the moisture out, and so it's gonna start getting a little messy here. So let's go ahead and get that covered up. Uh, but yeah, she's rocking along just fine, and in just a few more minutes here, and we'll have butter. All right, as you can tell by all the crap that's getting flung out of there, it has separated, and we're just about to separate the buttermilk from the butter. So let's, uh, let's, let's maybe take a look here. So we got it to start clumping up there. I think we're gonna run that just a hair longer. So when you lift this, it sticks to it just a hair better, but we are just about there. All right, let's take a look here. Now, when we pull this up, you should have all that butter sticking uh, to your paddle there. So we can go ahead and just leave that for a second. Um, we can go ahead and separate this into our buttermilk here. So we'll just go ahead and drop that down on in there. We'll put this guy back in here and we're going to go ahead and let this mix a little bit more, just a hair. All right. So we're just beating it a little bit more to get a little more of that buttermilk out of there. And then we're gonna actually strain the butter itself. So, we're just about ready for it. Okay, so we have our butter here. This is all stuck to the whisk. We have butter, so we're gonna strain this a little bit. And we're just gonna push it into here. Get it off of our whisk here. One more little guy down here. And what we can do is literally just press into this butter and see if you can drain any more of the juices out. And you can see as I press on it, it's uh, definitely pushing out some of the liquid in there, which is awesome. Just what we want, just what we want. All right, so as you can see here, we do have the butter. Uh, so at this point, there's a couple different options that you can do. If you like your butter salted, go ahead and put it back in the mixer. You can put a teaspoon of salt in there and let it mix up for a second and then pull it back out. Also, if you want to store it for longer times. Now, if you're just using this butter immediately or within a week or so to go into cookies or cakes or whatever you're making, this will be fine. Now, you can also do what's called a, an ice bath. So you'll just take really, really cold water, uh, like two cups, put, it, put the butter back in there and run the butter with the water until the water starts to run clear. So you'll, uh, you'll run it, you'll see the cloudy water in there. You can dump that out, put a little bit more in there, run it again until the water's clear. And that just makes sure that all of the excess buttermilk is out of the butter and it'll have a little bit longer shelf life. So pro tip, use it if you want, but uh, we're gonna use this pretty immediately. So no worries. All right, so as any good chef knows, you have to sample your product before you just go giving it out there. So let's give this a little try. Tastes like butter. Okay, now for the last step is storage. You can just take some wax paper. Literally, we're just gonna kind of clump it up into a, into a little ball here. We wanna roll it into, you know, a, kind of a little log like the butter from the store comes in. So once we got our little log here, we can just wrap her on up. And like I said, this should keep in the fridge for a week or so if you don't do the ice bath. So. It uh, it's lasts quite a while, especially if you use quite a bit of butter. So this is awesome. All right, so basically what this yielded was a cup of butter and a cup of butter milk. So again, save this. You can save it in a jar or some kind of container. Keep it in the fridge. Make some Sunday morning buttermilk pancakes or maybe some buttermilk biscuits. This stuff will be delicious in just about anything you put it in. So make sure to save that. All right, as you can see, we have made quite the mess. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up. 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a like and a sub. Hit that notification if you want to see all the videos that we put out. Uh, if you haven't seen our repair content, make sure to check that out as well. We put out videos on how to maintenance and repair all of the issues that these machines face. Uh, and we'll drop our Discord in the description below. We're building a nice little baking community if you want to be a part of it. Share recipes, spread some love. We'd love to have you. If you really enjoy our content, make sure to check out our subscription. We have a $3 and $5 a month subscription where we give out a mixer every single month. So don't miss that. It's really going to help us to uh, produce more content, and to be honest, we really want to give back to the community as well. So, the more subs we have, the more we can do, the more love we can spread, so let's do it.